Ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to another YouTube video of mine. My name is Divine and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. I talk about academic tips, scholarship tips, immigration tips, and in fact, anything that can just make you to travel out of the country and to be a better version of yourself. That's what we do in this channel. If you are watching me for the very first time, it's a time for you to subscribe because you don't want to miss any of our content. So, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Digital Nomad Visa. Uh, on Tuesday, that's yesterday, uh, Canada actually announced um, that they'll be opening a new visa route, which is the Digital Nomad Visa. And a lot of people don't really know about this route, so I'm going to be explaining in this video. The very first thing we'll be looking at in this video is what is Digital Nomad Visa? This visa is a very simple one. It's a kind of visa that allows people to come to Canada or any other country, any country of it, to come to that particular country to settle and work online. It is basically for people who are working remotely. So if you are into tech and then most of the jobs you are taking, or let me say the jobs you are taking is, uh, is a remote job. You can work from anywhere to actually deliver your job to your client. Then this visa is for you. So you can travel directly to the continent of women. Let's use Canada, for example. Travel down to Canada, you settle in Canada, then you can always deliver your work because you are in Canada. You have your internet, you have your accommodation, everything is settled. So that is the kind of visa that, that this is all about. Now you might want to ask me about the requirement of this visa. The requirement is very simple and the requirement ranges from country to country. But with the little research I've done for Canada, I think they will want you to prove to them that you have been in play for a very long time. And also they will want you to show something like, uh, I don't really know if I should call it a bank statement, but I, and I shouldn't call it a business. But you should be able to prove to them the income you've earned from doing your tech work. You know, I can just decide to say, well, I'm going to take two and then apply, but how do I prove to them that I am really, really into tech? You have to see how you deliver your service, the platform you're using, delivering your service. Just try to convince them on, uh, to prove to them that you are really a remote worker. Now, you might want to ask me, how many countries are into these things? Trust me, Canada is not the first country starting this. In fact, I think the first country that started this digital nomad visa is Malta. Malta has been onto this for a very long time. And there are also other countries into it like Greece, Barbados, Bahamas, uh, Mauritius, um, even Portugal too. They are all into all of this digital nomad visa. I will also be sharing all of these things in my WhatsApp group page. So before we go on in this video, if you are not on my WhatsApp and Telegram group page, please check the description. Below. I'll be sharing the link to them over there. In the group, we talk about uh, virtually everything. You ask a question, anything you need, you feel is ready to answer you. And if you want to embark on any journey or any phase, you can also discuss with people in the group. They will always be there to answer you. They, to join the group is free. Yeah, it is totally free. Nobody's going to ask you for money. <laughs> So before we go on, I want you to do more research on all of these things because digital nomad visa is different from various from country to country. For example, the requirement for that of Canada will be different for that of um, uh, Greece, will be different from that of Portugal, like that, like that, like that. Like that. And put at the back of your mind that for you to apply for this visa, they don't really need you to bring one big money on like uh, the students or so you have to pay for tuition or like the express entry route where you have to um, show that you have sufficient amount in your bank account, you understand? But at the same time too, you have to prove to them that you can financially take care of yourself in their country and you will become um, a liability to the country. And at the same time too, they will require you to pay for their visa. Yes, they will require you to pay for their visa. So there are some countries that are visa free can also do your research. That's why it is important for you to do more research. And if I adventure you still have any questions to ask me, as regards this digital nomad visa, you can always tell me in the comment box below. I always reply everybody in the comment box. So please guys the comment section, ask me any question and I'll be ready to answer you. So the next section of this video is I'll be answering some questions as regards this particular topic. 
Now, the very first question here is, can you immigrate to Canada as a remote worker? Definitely, you can immigrate to Canada as a remote worker. But at first, you'll be getting the uh, visitor's visa. It's more like a visitor's visa, though they call it the digital nomad visa, which is the was just introduced yesterday. But it looks like the visitor's visa, you can only stay for about, I think, six months with the digital nomad visa. But after a while, um, according to the minister that announced it, if you get a job in Canada, then you can stay longer. But if you want to leave, you can also leave. But so far, you are working remotely, you can stay for about six months. Nobody's pushing you. It's actually good for the country because you'll be paying for your accommodation in the country. You'll be buying their food, you'll be buying their groceries, you'll be um, taking out their health. So they just want to add a palette. So it's good for them and it's good for you for migration. Who qualifies for digital nomad visa? If you are above 18, you are liable to work and you are working remotely. I just have to show them um, a specific amount that, okay, these are the money I've been getting from the work I've been doing remotely. Everything is okay, every other thing is okay. You just have to convince them that I am really, really into um, uh, a remote job. That's all. What countries offer digital nomad visa? There are a lot of countries offering digital nomad visa. We have guys of Portugal, Spain, Italy, Croatia, Germany, Greece, Estonia, Malta, many, many of them like that. We have Bahamas, many, many. Just do your research and Make sure you pick your country wisely. It is, I have actually said it in one of my YouTube videos. It is not every country that you can actually just jump and migrate to. Pick your country wisely. What is digital nomad visa for Nigerians? Digital nomad visa, I've explained it before in the video. It allows you as a remote worker or as a freelancer to actually reside and work in a country whereas you are working for a company in another country. It might not necessarily be the, the company you are working for might not necessarily be in that country. For example, I might be working with a company in um, Australia and I'm in Nigeria and I want to travel. It is not necessary for me to go to Australia. I can decide to go to uh, Canada with the normal uh, digital visa. So that is just the simple explanation to it. What is the cheapest normal visa? I've said it before in the video that the visa, the digital normal visa has been done by different countries and their requirements vary. So it is good for you to do your research very well. But with the look of things, Hungary has the best uh, digital normal visa. It's also known as the white card. There are also some other countries that, that they do the digital normal visa with a visa free. You don't get to pay for visa application. Alright guys, we'll be stopping the video here today. If you enjoyed everything we've said so far, please use the comment box. Tell us in the comment box how you feel about this video and tell us um, what you want us to do next. Tell me in the comment box what the kind of video you want to watch for me next. And also, if you have any questions as regards this digital normal visa, please always use the comment box. I will be ready to answer it for you. And again, don't forget that I have my Telegram group page and my WhatsApp group page where you can actually relate with people of like minds, people who are also uh, looking for how to make it to another country. Trust me, you want to be there. Alright guys, bye-bye. See you in another video.